All right, so this is a video on how to install a hard drive caddy to a MacBook 15, and it's pretty straightforward as long as you have the tools. And the tools you're going to need is are two of them. It's a Phillips and a hex tool. So how you start is basically just removing these uh, four, eight, and ten, ten screws on the back on the bottom of it. So you start from. You can start from anywhere, but I personally like to go clockwise, so top left, top right. Now, you don't have to remember where these go because there's only two types. There's a small and a long. The longs, these three here, go to the top right, and these small ones here uh, go everywhere else. Alright, now that you have all the screws out, you want to fit your finger around um, along this uh, space here and pull it out. And this reveals everything. So what you got here is the battery, the hard drive, the super drive, your memory, uh, the CPU fans. I think one's GPU and one's CPU if I'm not mistaken. But in order to install the caddy, uh, what you're going to need is to take out this piece first, right? Be careful with these connectors. There's two connectors you need to remove. And then you're gonna take out the super drive. All right? And so we're gonna start with this piece here. All right? And that piece is uh, it's a Phillips, it's a star. Just take these screws out here. This one might be hard to get out, so you can just leave it in there. This one's actually quite easy to take out, so you can take out that one. This one's loose. These two connectors we got to take out before we pull it. I'm gonna pull that, and then this connector here, you just kind of pull by this cable, and you just snugly pull it out. Then you can bend this over. That's gonna drop the screw, so be conscious of that. Don't bend it too much, just a little bit. And now you got the super drive, and the super drive's got three screws. Got one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so we're going to start by taking out this one here. And this one here. And if you have magnetized tips, uh, bits, uh, that always helps because it, some of these spaces are really small, you can't get your finger in them. So if they're magnetized and, and the screw falls or anything like that, you can pull it up with the magnet. All right. So we got the three screws out, and the way you pull this out is you're gonna push it in towards the motherboard, and you kind of just gently lift up. And when you have it up and you have grip here on this side, you want to kind of pull it towards you a little bit. And this piece here, you just want to get it out, and don't pull it out yet. As soon as you get it loose, remove the SATA connector here. And the way you can do that is just run your nail and just kind of slowly and gently pull it out. And there you go. And this is a super drive. All right. Now you have two options that I've seen, which you can buy to install a hard drive caddy in this. And that is one, you can pay eight bucks and get one of these really cheap a caddy's from China. Uh, you can get one on you know eBay or Amazon, and nine bucks, and they'll ship it to you in about a week or something like that. However, I've had two of these, and both of them have been poorly, poorly made. Uh, one couldn't transfer more than 50 megabytes a second, and the other one kept disconnecting the the hard drive after about half an hour or something like that. So those are very risky. Um, I do not recommend buying these. I, I'm the kind of guy who likes to buy 
doesn't like to pay more for things he doesn't have to but uh, this kind of stuff you don't want to what I do recommend is buying uh, this cost thirty dollars and it's called uh, data doubler OWC is the manufacturer and what's great about this is that it's well made uh, it's actually very sturdy you can just feel it when you pick it up and then it includes all the tools you need as well so if you don't have like the tools that I mentioned you, you know just buying this will do it, it comes with screws and all that so this is that and then you're gonna need a an SSD right so uh, that's that um, and one thing to note depending on your MacBook uh, this is from early 2011 so mine has a SATA 2 connector which means that I can buy a hard drive up to SATA 2 if I have a SATA 3 it's not gonna benefit from that speed uh, but nowadays you can buy a SATA 3 hard drive for fairly cheap so it doesn't really matter but that's just a little FYI all right because the uh, this one is SATA 6 and then this one is SATA 3 right all right and how you begin is uh, first you have to take off this little piece here that little piece connects to that and that's two Phillips take two of them out okay and you just have to kind of remember the the orientation of it because if you put it on wrong it's not going to fit but um, on this one here it's basically like that so you get the hole away from away from the the circuitry right the circuit board and if you screw that in oops trouble here but that's fine once you get one of them in there you're halfway done All right. and get the other one. I didn't notice that this uh, circuit board kind of comes out a little bit it's, it's protruding so you may want to be careful with uh, when you attach this and don't tighten it too much girls you'll damage the board that's probably a manufacturer's defect uh, yeah just just tighten enough but not too tight in this material you can tighten it any, as much as you want but that one there see I don't know if you can see that but alright so then now we're going to attach the hard drive right and this guy is going to fit in here like so and I'm just trying to okay so this is only going to use two screws I'm guessing and because there's nothing else in the box and yeah so I guess they just assume or they expect you to just tighten it from one end it should be enough it's not a mechanical drive so you're not gonna have a lot of issues with with uh, movement or anything like that dump these out you're gonna take the big screws right and put them on this side there's a Phillips Okay, and that's it. So this is on the caddy. It's on the caddy there. And now you want to make this connector here. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to connect that. All right. Now you want to 
rest it on there and everything should should be flush okay there's nothing that should be sticking out or anything like that check your installation but then once you're done with that you're going to grab the screws here these the ones that go around here and put those back in and you want to do it evenly across you don't want to over tighten one side and then tighten this and tighten this you want to gently tighten this tighten this, tighten this, and then do one more round and then tighten them fully on the second round. So now I'm going for the second round and tightening a little bit more. What that does is just prevent, it, it, it allows for a good set setting, right? So it's, uh, it's evenly, the pressure's even. Okay. That is that, and now we're gonna reattach this here. I'm gonna screw this back in here with the, the star the Phillips. The long one goes at the top. Tighten, connect these back in, but gently pushing this in, grabbing it by the cable and gently pushing it in. And this guy, you just push down with your thumb until you kind of feel like it's it's a metal connector. Gently, right? And then you gently push down, and and it will connect again. All right, and that is pretty much it now. Um, while you have this open, you might as well take advantage and maybe blow some air, uh, you know, and then maybe blow it on the fans to get some of that dust out. Dust accumulates on there. Just give it a little, little cleaning. Don't, don't use any type of fabric or anything like this over here. Just compressed air. Okay. And you put this back in. Wrong way. In like this and then you just reinstall everything again so I'm gonna start kind of I'm gonna start clockwise all right long screws the first one is the second one from the top clockwise and again you want to use the same method is just gently tighten these and then go for a second round and and tighten them further so it's uh, the pressure's even across the the screws an easier ways too is you can just kind of pop these in and then screw them as you go, just make sure not to move your MacBook during this process. Okay. okay. Alright, now I'm going to go over a second round, just tighten them a little bit more, make sure they're all good. Good. Make sure not to strip them. Apply too much force. Just, just gently. All right. Those are good. 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 And that is it. That is the installation of the hard drive caddy. The links for the data doubler will be in the description. And anything else that's useful, I'll also um, put a link to this. This is actually a a phone kit comes with a little toolkit. It's really good, really well made. I highly recommend this if you're into this stuff. So it's a good investment. It's around 20 bucks.
And I also have this, which is a precision toolkit. It comes with a bunch of little nerdy stuff like magnifying, uh, you know, a mirror and stuff. This is great for like computers and stuff like that or anything that requires small precision tools. And um, I don't know if I still have the link to that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the show and good luck on your installation.